In the vast expanse of the Milky Way galaxy, there exist remarkable stellar formations called superstar clusters. These dense collections of young, massive stars shine brilliantly, revealing the most extreme environments in which stars and planets can form. One such cluster, Westerlund 1, has been captured in incredible detail by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. This image offers a stunning view of one of the most massive clusters ever identified within our galaxy, located approximately 15,000 light years away in the constellation Ara. Superstar clusters like Westerlund, one contain over 10,000 times the mass of our sun packed into a small volume of space, creating an environment where star formation occurs at an accelerated pace. Westerlund 1 stands out as the most massive cluster yet observed with estimates suggesting it harbors between 50,000 to 100,000 times the sun's mass within a region less than six light years across. Despite its density, it remains an open cluster, meaning its stars are loosely bound by gravity. Over time, however, as the cluster evolves and its stars age, it is expected to transform into a globular cluster, a spherical collection of old stars tightly bound by gravity. What makes Westerlund one truly fascinating is its status as a natural laboratory for the study of extreme stellar physics. The cluster hosts an abundant population of evolved, massive stars, which provide crucial insights into the life cycle of the largest stars in our galaxy. Researchers estimate that within the next 40 million years, the cluster will witness more than 1,500 supernovae explosions of dying stars that release vast amounts of energy and material into space. This environment allows astronomers to study how such dramatic events, including stellar winds and supernovae, influence the formation and evolution of stars within their surrounding regions. Structure and Features of Westerlund, the James Webb Space Telescope. JWST has provided an unparalleled view of Westerlund 1, allowing astronomers and enthusiasts alike to peer into the intricacies of this dense and dynamic star cluster. The image reveals a dense collection of stars with six large and two small diffraction spikes, a characteristic of the telescope's optics, adding a captivating aesthetic to the already brilliant cluster. Each star's appearance varies based on its brightness and distance from Earth, creating a mesmerizing tapestry of light and color, the population of stars and their diversity. Westerlund 1 is not just a cluster of stars. It is a diverse and evolving population. The stars within the cluster vary greatly in color, size, and brightness, reflecting their differences in age, composition, and temperature. These variations help astronomers classify and study the types of stars present. The red, blue, and yellow hues indicate stars at different stages of their life cycles. Red stars are generally cooler and older, while blue stars are typically younger, hotter, and more massive. What makes this observation even more remarkable is the presence of hypergiants within the cluster. Hypergiants are among the largest stars known in the universe, burning through their fuel at an astonishing rate and living only a few million years before they end their lives in supernova explosions. Westerlund 1 is home to several such stars, making it an important region for studying the late stages of massive star evolution. The JWST's capability to capture these stars in high resolution enables scientists to gather crucial information about their structure, atmospheric conditions, and how they interact with their surroundings. Billowing clouds of gas and dust. The image also shows patches of billowing red gas interspersed among the stars. These clouds are composed of gas and dust illuminated by the intense radiation of the cluster's massive stars. As these stars release energy through stellar winds, streams of charged particles ejected at high speeds, they interact with the surrounding material, causing it to glow and form intricate shapes. The JWST's infrared capabilities are especially effective at capturing these regions, which are often obscured in visible light observations. The reddish clouds hint at ongoing star formation within Westerlund 1, as the ejected material and gas clouds provide the necessary ingredients for new stars to form. However, the same massive stars that illuminate these clouds are also responsible for disrupting the formation process. 
Their powerful winds and the shock waves from supernovae stir up the surrounding environment, dispersing the material needed for star formation and shaping the overall structure of the cluster. This tug of war between creation and destruction is one of the reasons astronomers are so interested in studying these superstar clusters. The future of Westerlund 1 and its impact on stellar and galactic evolution. Westerlund 1 is not only a window into the past, but also a key to understanding the future of massive star clusters. As the cluster evolves over the next millions of years, it is expected to undergo significant changes, transitioning from its current status as an open cluster into a globular cluster. This transformation involves the gravitational tightening of its stellar population, forming a roughly spherical, dense, and stable collection of stars. The path toward becoming a globular cluster. As massive stars in Westerlund one age and explode as supernovae, the energy and material they release into space play a crucial role in the cluster's evolution. Over the next 40 million years, more than 1,500 supernovae are expected to occur within Westerlund 1, each explosion reshaping the cluster's environment. The immense force of these events sends shockwaves through the gas and dust, both disrupting the formation of new stars and driving away material that is not gravitationally bound to the cluster. As a result, only the tightly packed stars remain, gradually transforming Westerlund 1 into a more compact and cohesive globular cluster. Globular clusters are typically much older and more stable than open clusters, containing stars that are often over 10 billion years old. If Westerlund 1 follows this path, it will eventually become one of these ancient formations, a tightly bound stellar relic from a bygone era of star formation in the Milky Way. This transformation provides insight into the life cycle of star clusters and how they evolve over billions of years. Implications for understanding star and planet formation. Superstar clusters like Westerlund 1 offer a rare glimpse into an environment where stars and planets form under extreme conditions. Our galaxy has passed its peak of star formation, and many of its massive stars have already lived and died, leaving behind only a few clusters like Westerlund 1 as remnants of this vibrant era. By studying such clusters, Astronomers gain valuable clues about the processes that shaped the Milky Way in its youth. Westerlund 1 serves as a natural laboratory, allowing scientists to study how massive stars interact with their environment through intense radiation, stellar winds, and supernova. These interactions influence the formation of planets and smaller stars in the vicinity, shedding light on how such objects might form and survive in environments different from our own solar system. Observations from the JWST help to refine models of star and planet formation, providing a more complete picture of how our own Sun and its surrounding planets might have originated billions of years ago. The broader impact on galactic evolution. The study of clusters like Westerlund 1 also has implications for understanding galactic evolution. Clusters play an essential role in enriching galaxies with heavy elements produced by stars and distributed through supernova explosions. These elements, including carbon, oxygen, and iron, are fundamental building blocks for planets and life. By observing the life cycle of Westerlund 1 and similar clusters, astronomers can better comprehend how galaxies evolve over time and how the raw material for planets and life is distributed throughout them. The James Webb Space Telescope's detailed observation of Westerlund, one provides a captivating and scientifically significant look at one of the last remaining superstar clusters in our galaxy. As astronomers continue to study this cluster and others like it, they will unlock deeper insights into the processes that have shaped the cosmos and our place within it.